What's up, guys? So Alex and I have some huge news for you guys. A few weeks ago, our son Harley was born and it is the most cool thing ever. Like, we were just so in love with him. He's such a cool little dude. Hopefully one day he watches this video and then he can look back and say what a dork his dad is. But uh, anyway, it's a big day for me as well because it's my first time out in the garage in weeks. Um, just kind of have enough time right now to get out here for a few hours and fix something on the Wildcat. So if you guys want to tag along again, we'll do kind of a part two-ish on the fuel pump because I can't stand that that fuel pump I put on there was an aftermarket one that just didn't route right. Um, didn't look right either. I found the factory one on eBay. So we're going to go over here to the Wildcat and actually swap that thing out. And you guys can tag along for the quick little job on that. Morning, guys. So if you remember the last time we worked on the Wildcat, we replaced the fuel pump. But it's just driving me crazy not having a factory style one on this engine because everything like we talked about in that video is original on this engine. And I don't know, I just want to have the original stuff back on it. So I went on eBay and I found one, a 40250. And this is a factory rebuild. It's the exact style of the one that came off the car originally. So we're going to go ahead and replace this. And fingers crossed I didn't get screwed over on an eBay purchase. And this thing really was refurbished. And we'll get this one that we had installed out of there. Importantly, with this new old stock pump, I just tested it out because I want to make sure before I install this thing and even swap out the other one, it works. So I've got the inlet line here sucking into this Pyrex with uh, some fuel in it and an outlet and lo and behold, it works. She's spraying. So this fuel pump is good. All right, so now we're getting out this one that I had installed previously and we'll keep this one in the trunk. God forbid we ever have a breakdown again somewhere on a road trip, who knows? We'll have an extra one. We just tested out this new one here on the ground. It looks like it's gonna work great. So. We'll go ahead and complete this swap. Heck yeah. Alrighty, new fuel pump is installed. Now I've got the fuel filter actually captured in this little ring where it should have been originally, just like the OEM style. So this one, we're about to disconnect the main line off of it. And once we do that, this one running back to the tank is gonna start gushing fuel everywhere. So we're gonna go real quick, disconnect here, connect underneath, here on the fuel pump and then uh, put our alternator bracket back on should be good to go crank her up make sure it's all tidied up there's no leaks and that'll be a job well done just admire how beautiful the gardening is here at the house this year alex kicked butt looks so good love the house so it was a little bit of a fight because i had to make sure that i could get this alternator bracket behind the fuel um filter which kind of led into this aluminum line that i built that goes behind the water pump having to bend it and get it to all fit, but it finally does. It's not actually sitting on the engine at all. It's just kind of loosely hanging there. And that's what I wanted because the old setup, it had just rubber hose laying on hot engine parts. And I don't want to heat the fuel up any more than we need to. Say goodbye to the aftermarket one that didn't do so good. And we'll give this thing a crank up right now and make sure it's running Getting good. the fan belt back on here. It's always a good feeling because you know, this is about the end of it. Let's test it out make sure that we're not leaking anywhere and that our fuel pump is working because you know what it did on our pre-test? Let's make sure we're still good here. Oh yeah, she's up and running already. That old Buick Purr. Okay, let's check for leaks. Nothing here, nothing here. Trace our line down. Looking over here, nothing at the fuel filter. Going down to the fuel pump. Right there. Let's go underneath. Not seeing any leaks. I think we did it. Main fuel line right here. Pump the chassis looks good. Okay, we're good. Hold out a wrap. Wildcat is back up once again, running like a champ. I'm um, so much happier with this new fuel pump in it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You guys might see a little bit more stuff coming along the way here, but as we said earlier in the video, our son was born. So I've got a lot of time here right now that Alex and I are spending with him. And uh, we might not see a lot of YouTube videos coming out for a little while, but now you guys know that's the reason why. So thank you guys as always for supporting the channel, for leaving comments, chiming in on stuff that we're working on and uh, tagging along for our journey here. because. There's a lot of cool stuff that we've got to build coming up. And I know we say that all the time, but it's true. You know, now that we've got the baby boy here, as he gets older, you're probably gonna see a lot of him out here in the garage with us working on cars and it's gonna be even, even just cooler. So anyway, enough rambling. We'll see you guys on the next video. You guys excited? Let's do it. Come on, let's go.
puppy boys, you are the boys. Oh man.